John Dunn, the White Zulu Chief. From the age of 17, he earned a living riding transports and hunting in Zululand. He mastered the Zulu language and traditions, befriended Zulu chiefs and worked as a diplomat and negotiator for local tribes. Chiefs rewarded Dunn by giving him wives. Many years later, the king of the Zulus, Etsweo, made Dunn his advisor and he was given his own chieftain. In 1879, Dunn betrayed Etsweo and helped the British win the Anglo-Zulu War and annex Zululand. Zululand was divided between 13 rulers and Dunn became one of the most powerful with the largest estate. Dunn died in 1895 with 48 wives and 117 children. His 6,000 descendants still have rights to the land granted to him by Etsweo and his grave lies near the Tugela River. Never forget John Dunn, the White Zulu Chief. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Manic Minutes.